Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Even though I'm doing a lot of unboxing today, you guessed the brand by now. Yes, it's another one by Mifine. Let me just take it. Ooh, very, very cool packaging as usual. And if you care, oops. Sorry by the noise, neighbors. This is the Mifine Ghost Blade 180 centimeter version. And yes, it doesn't smell bad. Uh, it doesn't have the new neoprene sleeves, but either way, this one looks enough. It's a very, very light rod. It also features a hollow tip, but I will tell you all about the rod and show you the details on the table on a minute. So now that we are on the table, I can present you the Mifine Ghost Blade. As I told you, mine is the 180 centimeter. The cast weight is the same for all the three models. Uh, this rod costs around $50 and in super deals you sometimes can get it for $35. But continuing with the rod, this uh, model only has three versions. All of them come with Fuji guides as you can see in there. Uh, all of them feature 7 plus 1 guide. And all of them have a claimed weight by Mifine of 60 grams that I will test in a minute. But for a closer inspection of the finishing on the rod, as usual by Mifine, all the graphics are impeccable. The butt section is a thick. Uh, gray EVA foam, you have a bottom cap made of aluminium, some insertions and the ABS reel seat, very very skinny, a two-parter as usual, I really start to like these um, reel seats and in here you have everything you need to know about this rod. The cast weight is 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 grams which is enough for everything that you need and in here you can see the craftsmanship of Mifine, the tags for the Fuji K guides, the spigot that will connect uh, the first base section to the tip section of the rod. In there I show you the impressed Fuji stamp on the first guide and in here I show you the band of the first half of the blank. The base thickness of the bottom half of the rod, it's around four and a half millimeters as I put my measuring device over it. And yes, four and a half, very, very skinny rod. And if we go to the tip section, again, with some tool color tip, uh, fluorescent uh, colors we get 1.17 millimeters the Mifine um, spec for this rod claims a 1.2 millimeter which is normal because I remember you folks this is a hollow tip rod so it should be faster than the illusion slash that is on the same cast weight category and for the weight of the rod as you can see in there after measuring both ends of the rod, so the both sections, it's around 56, 57 grams, give it or take it. It should be closer to 55 if I'm honest. Uh, probably this is 60 gram mark, it's for the longer version. Uh, either way, very, very lightweight. Uh, everything is very, very well fitted. I remember this is a very, very, very light application rod. And now some close-ups of the fitting finish of the top half of the rod. You see the guys are very very well put together with the blank of the rod. No blemish, no excess epoxy. The wraps are very well done. As usual by me fine, it's probably the best fitting finish for... I think all of the rods are around 50 euros if you buy it at full price. Again, marking individually parts of the rod very very good sign of the manufacturing and this is all about the ghost plate uh, i already tested this rod here's a small clip of my testing and i can tell you oh it's an upgrade it's an upgrade on the illusion slash if you want bottom contact lures but i'll see you guys on my next video bye